What's up guys, Cliff here with the Sunday Drive and today we're gonna to show you how to remove the headliner in my 94 XJ. So welcome back to our XJ series. We're gonna be slowly modifying and restoring this 94 XJ. And right now I have a leak. I tried to fix this leak um, and I did fix part of it, but I still haven't identified where the rest of the water is coming in the vehicle. And the headliner has gotten wet several times. It's starting to get a little bit moldy. So I wanna get this out of here and really identify where that water is coming from. So in today's video, we're gonna be pulling the headliner down and hopefully finding where that leak is and getting that fixed. Now, I didn't rip the old headliner off here. The previous owner that I purchased it from had damaged the headliner, so he pulled it off, and that's why it's in such disrepair. So either way, this headliner had to come out. Now, if you're familiar with XJ interiors, you'll know that most of the fasteners are Phillips head screws, so we're gonna definitely need a Phillips head screwdriver for a lot of this. And we're gonna have some pick tools to remove the lights, and then a T50 Torx for the seat belt. So, um, if there's anything else needed as we go along, we'll be sure to point that out. But we're gonna start by removing this back trim piece right here. And as we said, it's held in by Phillips head screws. So I'm gonna start all these by hand to make sure they're loose and that I don't strip them out. And then once they are loose, I'm gonna finish them up with a screwdriver, or a drill rather, I'm using a screwdriver. Just six Phillips that run along the back. Now it's a good idea to have bags or bowls to place your screws in so that you know where they came from. But if you haven't done that and you're watching this video to see how it goes back together, these are about an inch long screws that go in the back. Unlike new vehicles, this is actually metal. Now we're gonna disconnect the rear seat belts. They are held in by T50 Torx bits. You can see there are some gaskets here that are dry rotted. This one's still intact, it's up top. Remove your handles. In order to do that, you're just gonna pop the ends off. Like so. And there's T25 screws that hold them in place. Break them free. All right, they're loose, so we're gonna finish them up with the drill. I'm gonna pop out these two covers right here. Oh, don't lose them. She's a little pick tool. And then there are Phillips screws holding this in. And just like to check them by hand to make sure that they aren't corroded in there. These are a little bit shorter than those back screws. Because of the angle of this screw, um, it's really hard to actually remove that with the dash here. So we're gonna leave that in and just push this piece of trim out of the way to remove the headliner. 
Now I've already removed this module right here, which I believe is for your remote lock and unlock. Um, you just have to disconnect the electrical connection on the inside once it's down. And to remove it, it's basically slipped up over the headliner, and then there are two Phillips screws that hold it in place right here. I've also already removed the clips for the sun visors. They go right here on both sides, and they're held in by one Phillips head screw. Now we're gonna remove the sun visors themselves. Now, these screws are a little bit hard to get out because I've had this leak and it started to rust up here, which is why the headliner is coming out. But there are three Phillips head screws that hold the visors in place. You're gonna to wanna to hold up on the visor as you're removing this last one, or the weight's gonna pull down on the screw and make it a little bit harder to get out. Now, if your visors have built-in lights, you're gonna have an electrical connection right here. You can take a pick tool and pop that off and it'll slide right out. Two Phillips screws that hold in the rearmost trim piece. And you can see this is a much longer screw than the rest of men. And then this one's a little bit shorter. Now that all the fasteners are removed, we can start removing the trim. Um, right here, you're gonna wanna pull down and then you can separate this from the back piece. And then up right about here is a pin that sticks through from the outside of the vehicle. So you need to pull this down. And once you have that pulled down, you'll be able to slide this piece off. You're gonna pull this out and down at the same time. So you can see right here is that tab that sticks out that holds that back piece from sliding out. So you gotta basically push this down then the back most piece of trim will slide out. Now we're gonna remove the rear speakers. Um, you have to take, pop this cover out. This just pops out from the light. And then up inside of here are little metal washers, which are annoying. But we're gonna to have to pry these washers down I'm going to take the weight off of it, and then I'm going to try to get this trim tool under here to pull the washer down. This is opposite the direction that it wants to go, so it's kind of hard. Take your time with it, and it will come off. Here's, here's what the headliner used to look like. We got a connection right here for the light. There it goes. To disconnect the speakers, you just want to lift up this tab right here. Clipped over the back. And the 
last, at least I think last, I'm gonna disconnect this middle light right here. It's gonna make it a little bit easier getting that headliner out to at least loosen this. We'll see if I can remove it easily, but as with everything else, it's held in by Phillips screws, little short ones back here. That one's a little bit longer. At the back right here, I've already removed this a little bit, but there are two metal supports that hold up your rear speaker panel. Uh, so you're gonna have to get the headliner out from around that. And then you're just gonna have to release it from the, um, basically the screw mounts that come off of the sides. And once you have one side loose, you should be able to start pulling it out. So that's how you remove the headliner in your XJ Cherokee. Now, unfortunately, I did find a little bit of rust, but it doesn't look too bad. So this summer, we're gonna be fixing all of the rust, getting this Jeep repainted. Um, I just need to figure out where the water is getting in from temporarily so that I can get that sealed up with some silicone. So that is my next mission on here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe. We're gonna have a lot more content coming on this Cherokee. I'm gonna be fully restoring it. And I'm looking forward to seeing how it turns out. See you guys back here next time.